Hello my lovelies, welcome back to Rouge Power Beauty and what better way to start a new year than chucking loads of stuff out. I don't know what it is, I get the need, just this urge to throw things out. And so I thought I'd start with the good old empties. Yes, I've been collecting them probably since November I think and I have totally no idea what's lurking in here. It's not a vast amount, which is good because it's not going to be a long video, but yeah, there seems to be a lot of skincare in there. Let's crack on. First one out of the bag is a hair product and you've seen this an awful lot in 2015 and it's still in the bag in 2016. It's the Lee Stafford for hair that never grows past a certain length. Gorgeous conditioner, smells fabulous, I love what it does to my hair. I hit and miss with this. I use it, then I stop and introduce something else and sort of mix it up. But it is something that I generally always have in my stash. I love to have a pot of this. Smells gorgeous, really works on my hair and definitely will be getting another one. <sighs> Lozzy loves Lippy. This is for you darling. It's a cleanser. Um, Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. It's still my favourite cleanser. I've used it for years. Um, they've repackaged it again. It's sort of changed lid wise and but luckily the product hasn't. Absolutely love this. It's a great first cleanse, it's a great second cleanse. If you wanted to use a balm in the morning, you could. This is just fantastic. It also doubles up as a great mask for hydration as well. I adore it. And it's not one of those claggy cleansers that sort of give you a waterproof hand and they stick to the edge of your sink and it holds all the grub, grubby stuff off your face. It's not like one of those. I hate those cleansers. This is just for me a perfect cleanser. Takes everything off. Mascara, the works, the reddish lipstick, it's gone. Fabulous. And of course, I always have one of these. You know that. Next, another favourite, it's the La Roche-Posay Cerazinc, the Antibacterial Facial Mist. I love this. I like the sort of clinical packaging. I love the gentleness of the spray on the skin and it really does sort of calm and soothe skin. Um, great if you've got sunburn. Um, my mother-in-law used it quite a lot during the summer months and really benefited from it. But yeah, I love this and I really need to order some more. Another cleanser and it's the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. Much prefer this to the cleansing balm. Beautiful consistency, great as a first or a second cleanse in an evening. And I don't know how many times I've repurchased it. Just a fantastic product and certainly one I would never want to be without. Another facial mist and this is the Rose Water Balancing Mist from Jolique. I'm, I'm not a rose fan but this was just so soft and subtle and very calming that I really, really loved it. Love the packaging. I really like this opaque bottle. Um, beautiful product. They do several in the range, so I will be looking at others as well. It seemed to just suddenly be used up. It lasted for ages and then it was gone, but absolutely beautiful. And it is the hydrating mist. You can, as I say, get other variants, but a really lovely product. Oh, this. Um, this is from Desert Essence, you can find them on Amazon and it's the coconut shampoo and it's for dry hair. Um, my hair is a little bit of a misnomer really, it's oily in the roots, sometimes it can be quite dry on the ends but not always, it's very temperamental, I have temperamental hair and I like to use lots of different products and that seems to keep it happy but this shampoo was a revelation, absolutely fantastic. It's coconut scented, what more could I ask, but it just gave my hair such a shine and you could smell the coconut and it was just glossy and manageable and it behaved itself and it really responded well to this shampoo. Absolutely loved it and I would not hesitate to buy one of these. This was actually a sample um, that I was sent, but I've actually looked at buying one. It was so, so good. Fantastic product. Um, another favourite, you've seen this a lot, it's a corrective product for brightening, refining and plumping, and it's Sunday Riley Good Jeans Treatment. Um, this, I, 
I think it was last year, 2015, I started using this and after probably a day, couple of days, I could see my skin was just transformed. It was brighter, it was smoother. I wouldn't say it was plumper. I really don't know how it does that. Um, but it definitely brightens, it cleans the skin off so it's a lot brighter, it's exfoliated and it's just a fantastic product. I adore it. When I stop using it to try other products, I do notice a difference. Absolutely fantastic. It is a must for my skin. I use it every morning. Wow. Um, but a really really superb product and I've already got another one that I'm using no surprises there really oh we're down to two that was good now this is the <laughs> desert essence body wash again in the coconut um, variation oh it just smelt so good of course the small sample means it didn't last very long especially when Craig discovered it and he doesn't mind coconut it can be quite a masculine smell and um, he really liked this as well I didn't find it drying on the skin I like the subtlety of the fragrance it wasn't overpowering it really cleansed easily it wasn't overly foaming I hate those that are all foam and no product um, this was just beautiful I've really loved trying these products and of course coconut for me is a win every time I love it coconut for me is a win every time I love it my last product um, I haven't used all of this but with it being an eye product I can't pass it on to somebody else and it's the Etra Etra Bell or Etra Bell and it's the golden skin roll-on caviar eye gel and it was from the December glossy box um, it didn't do anything for me actually it did the opposite I use this as a daytime product because I do have an eye product as you know that I have finally found that I love um, and this I thought no give it the benefit of the doubt so I used it in the morning and within probably two weeks I noticed that my eyes were starting to dry up just here where they generally do with most eye products now it could be the metal rolling ball which gives you the feeling that it's so cool well of course it's cool because it's a metal ball um so it's a bit of a trick really but i just didn't find the gel worked on my eye it just seems to leave quite a film there um i even started applying it putting it onto my ring finger and actually patting it on thinking maybe it was a reaction to the ball itself that didn't work again. I could see the sort of dry patch. My skin was sort of collecting almost. Once I'd stopped using it within a couple of days, I had no problems whatsoever with my normal eye product. So unfortunately for me, this just wasn't a product that worked. Sadly, there's a good three quarters of it left. But as I say, eye products, you can't pass them on. But it just wasn't a positive product for me, unfortunately. And that's it. That's the first empties of 2016. Um, no colour. That maybe needs to be a mission. In 2016, we need to have more colour in the empties. I hope you enjoyed that. Lots of old favourites. Some newbies as well that I've really loved using. And, you know, you can't like everything. Not everything suits everybody, but it's only my face, my skin. Um, they may suit you. So please, please remember that. Take care, everybody, and I will be back very soon with another 2016 video. Bye for now.